Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with the Von Karstrand campaign. And you might be thinking, it's been a while, Janet. It has, it has. I've been really burnt out, guys. Uh, I'm afraid to say, it just happens sometimes, you know? Usually, like, limited uh, um, series, you know, just one one episode a day. It's something I can usually just sort of maintain while getting a bit of rest, but I really just hit a brick wall and I had to just stop. Um, it was ridiculous. Everything, everything felt like a huge hurdle. YouTube have been a bit annoying recently, not uh, not actually processing my videos. So I had to upload them a few times for, before they would finally go, oh right, yeah, I know how to play this in, in 2K, like you asked me to. Um, and you know, that's very little time out of my day, but it just felt like a massive hurdle. And I realized it, it wasn't because it was actually a lot of work, just that I was totally burnt out. It just felt like everything was trying to stop me from uh, from getting any work done and sometimes best just to walk away okay that's my advice to you guys sometimes you just got to take a personal day you just need to take some time off and look after yourself okay self-care really important especially in this day and age there's a lot of you know tumultuous nonsense going on um and so yeah look after yourselves guys look after yourselves that's my advice or else you know if you don't you might just hit a brick wall and be forced to uh to to be introspective for a while so that's my advice to you and i hope you will follow it because uh you know i care about all you guys you guys are great so i don't want you all making yourselves sick by working too hard brilliant now we got out that out of the way let's fight some fools so uh we are basically at the end of the turn but i've decided that i i am going to throw in one more move we do have wolfram hertwig and i'm going to come and see if middenstag is ready for conquest hello middenstag buddy you're so close good boy so uh theon van zanger we are going to um we can just sort of resolve this i really doubt this is going to be a problem but i'm going to take middenstag over that will give us a little bit of extra income, nothing much, but frankly, every little helps at this point. We are so broke. Uh, we'll probably end up encountering a lot more enemies coming from this way. We are at war with bloody everything, as I'm sure you guys remember. Uh, that's just, um, well, that's our life, isn't it? This is how this works. So, Wolfram Hertwig, uh, Benevolent Overlord would be nice to get Guardian, but unfortunately we don't have our, uh, we don't have our Vampirus here anymore. She got wounded, didn't she? I'd forgotten about that. Uh, I do like Flock of Doom a lot, actually. Let's get Flock of... Ooh, Fell Nest? That makes... Uh, fell Bats have no upkeep. Does that matter? I'm not sure this really matters a huge amount. Let's get Ray's dead, because... You know what? I'm going to use this button for the first time ever. Let's do Flock of Doom. I just really like Flock of Doom. It's a really fun ability. And we have enough chaff in this army, as it is. Cool. Also, I get people telling me about this button all the time. Yeah, I'm well aware of it. But usually if I click something, it's because I want it. Just because I plan to do something else first, doesn't mean I now haven't changed my mind. You know? And I'd be like, oh, well, I definitely want to get Devastating Charge at some point, and then I'll do something else and go, oh, I was going to get Devastating Charge, wasn't I? And then someone goes, you can undo it, but no, no, because I changed my mind. Because I clicked on a thing. I'm just acknowledging the fact that I, I wasn't doing my original plan. It's important. Important distinction. But, uh, yeah, that button exists. That button exists. I just I just like to stick to my guns, you know? Once I click, it's final. Except that one time, which is why I'm now pointing out that there are exceptions. Uh, Bacuffin. Let's get something, shall we? No, let's not get anything. Is there more money I can make here? Here there is. No, there isn't. We can't even afford a gibbet. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm almost tempted to get rid of Von Hilda Barakmir, you know? This army is very expensive. Um, I don't think Vlad needs anything additional. I think I might get rid of this army. I can raise another army very quickly, but an extra, like, 1600 per turn is too useful. So let's do that. We can always recruit her again. It's okay. She's, you know... She's always going to be in the pool. Even if she dies, because, you know, she's a unique character. Okay, I think that's going to be it then for the turn. Uh, we do have a commandment available down here, actually. So let's do that. Let's foster some terror. It's always nice to, to foster some terror. Sword of Cain rests. Well, good. Good. Uh, Roderick Steinhoff is ready for duty. Of course she is. And uh, we have some more research. The Liebe Necronomica. It's taken us a long time to get that one. And this is almost pointless now, isn't it? Uh, actually, it's completely pointless. We don't suffer attrition anymore because we've maxed out... 
our blood dragon skills, but um, still. A text of powerful binding and one of the nine books of Nagash. It contains countless rituals to ensnare wrathful spirits, summon ghoulish creatures, and imbue such fell things with dread power. So that's all lovely. Um, thank you for that. So, oh no, von Falkenstein, I would like to have him come over here and deal with uh, Alaric. I really would. I really would enjoy that. First, though, we've got some level ups to do. Let's get jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Let's get uh, Enfeebling Foe. Sounds good. Alright, I think I'm going to chase him right down. He has been running away from me, so I'm going to assume we can still take him on if we're tired. So I'll run over here and help. hopefully Dieter von Sigurd will decide to attack. Because I think the generic Empire factions get their turn before the generic Dwarf factions. So I think he'll attack with me as backup, and that'll force this guy to retreat. I think we might be able to chase him down. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, Vlad von Karstein as well. Let's get over to... Do we want to deal with this stuff with him, or leave it to Ono von Falkenstein? I think we'll leave it to Ono to deal with the stuff in the north. I think we want to head over to Flensburg and combat all this noise. There's a lot of noise over there. And you can continue to inch up. Alright, I guess deep in the forest then. Works for me. I can hang out with the wolves. So we'll do that. We're going to just try and sneak up on Carl Franz. We'll see if it works. So we still have Midstuck, which is great. I would love to get Middenheim. Oh, hello, Al Albert Fraulichmann. Well, that won't do, will it? What are you doing there? Also, we do need to deal with stuff in the north. Ugh, very problematic. Uh, so, Bacarfen, I am going to upgrade the walls. I do want to make sure we have these walls built, because this will soon be uh, probably attacked by Chaos. Because the Chaos Invasion is happening. I, I can't find any mod that disables the Chaos Invasion um, like midway through a game. Or at all, really. They're all out of date, because you can just turn Chaos Invasions off. So, why have a mod for it? Um, <laughs> we're in a unique position where I could have turned it off, but didn't. Which is obviously very stupid, but oh well. So yeah, I was trying to figure out, I was thinking, we've got another character running around, don't we? And um, we did, but then I disbanded them. So that's why I'm down an army. I was wondering why the other army hadn't shown up. But that's okay. So I can't afford to wound anybody. That's a bit annoying. But you can join Wolfram's army again. So let's get to her gig and see where this guy goes. Alright, back in the army. Oh, we've got a flesh golem out of it. Extra campaign movement range for the army, that's great. I like that a lot. Okay, I think that's going to be it for the turn then. It's a very brief turn, we just built walls. But I am actually very happy we got those built finally. And it wouldn't have happened if we didn't get our income up. And... Oh, right, yes, this is, a, this is just Flensburg. That's fine. This army is abysmally disgusting and I hate it. And... I kind of wish I was playing as the Empire right now, because imagine controlling this. It would be so fun. <laughs> but we can't. No, we had to be the zombies, didn't we? And, oh, excellent. Oh, this is perfect. And for some reason, Alaric has decided that he's going to stick with it. So we have uh, Dieter von Sigurd, uh, Marius Leidorf, Baldrick von Schickhofen, and Ono von Falkenstein. All after Alaric. Uh, I think I'm going to fight this because I love seeing allies on the field and trying to react to them. Usually it results in the stupidest tactics I've ever seen. Like all of their crossbowmen and things just sort of run through the enemy's front line for some reason. Just stupid nonsense happens. But I find it fun, so we're going to play it. Alright, we'll be coming in as reinforcements of course, which is a shame because our army is not the quickest. It's not the quickest. Uh, it probably, we could have our uh, more mobile units have lunch in this farmstead while we wait for the zombies to get towards the front line. Could be nice. Alright, you guys, you go go get lunch. Alright. <laughs> Alright, our general is the slowest unit in our army. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Ridiculous. Uh, so we've got grave guards, so this should be an absolute doddle. Should be a doddle. I do like a doddle, and her ogres are going to hit real hard. Blood Knights! Blood Knights! 
Swiftly. I know, not a great impression. I'm, I'm taking the mick out of it. I think they sound silly. <laughs> blood Knight. Hello, everyone. I'm a Blood Knight. Yes, hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Take your shoes off, please. There's no Blood Knights, so we'll just get, like, crap all over the carpet. you gotta, you got to ask, ask them to take the shoes off. Don't know where they've been. All right. Let's shimmy around. It looks like, uh, is that Marius? No, Dieter. Dieter's running in like an absolute lunatic. So we do have uh, Marius back here. Yeah, and his Empire captain is shooting fireballs. As they are one to do. Okay. Nicely done. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to use a uh, penumbral pendulum to try and crack these guys down a bit. Our archers. I mean, not ours as such, but our allies' archers are having some problems. Again, it's to be expected. Uh, can I get them? Maybe. Maybe. No, nope, they're just going to move, aren't they? Alright. We're going in. Let's go get Alaric. Okay, we can let them cluster around us. And then we're going to hit him with the old uh, Tormentor Sword and whatever spells we happen to have. Handy, you know. I guess I go for these Thunders as well. And... Yeah, screw it. Pop aside. Okay, good. Oh, that did it. That did it. Trying to help out our allies, shall we? Or... Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. So we're definitely trapped in here now, forever, I just realised. <laughs> Let's get our boys over here. Go for damage over literally everything else. I don't know if we'll actually get them with that. Uh, I could actually... Hit the pendulum. Let's lower the melee attack so we can at least survive a little longer, shall we? But, uh, yeah, those hammerers are nearly all wiped out, which is a big, big deal. That's a very big deal. Also, we actually got to where we were going over there, which is interesting. Um, can you not die? Okay, good. So there are some hammerers here, actually. Which is a little problematic. And, yeah, we really need to get her out of there. Okay, let's back you out of there, let's back you up, and I don't really know what to do with her now, I think she's in a lot of trouble. Can I get her with a, uh, can't get, uh, with a thingy what's it, of the heck, you know the one. Come on now, let's, let's, let's get her, yeah? So close, so close with this. Come on. And we got the Thane on us as well. Grim. Very grim. Very grim indeed. Okay, Ogres, you just you just run in on your own, alright? And you guys. We need some pace here if we're going to save them. Okay. Can we heal yet? <laughs> How many wizards do you need? Sixteen for another purple sun. Oof, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Not that long, actually, but... Some. Let's heal as well. Uh, oh, we're there. No, no, other one. Sorry, 16. I think 14 for some reason. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, you blood knights need to get out of there. I don't know how you got so injured all of a sudden. And... Purple Sun time. This purple sun isn't actually going to do too much damage to our uh, any of our units in here, honestly. Will to them, though. <laughs> Run away! Run away, little skeletons. Yeah, alright. There's army losses. And let's stop them from escaping. For a hot second. So, I think, I think we're covered here. I think we did the job. 
How many kills did you get in the end? Not actually that many. 110 and uh, 198. I mean, 84 for the Mortis engine. Just, it really helps just mop up every model in a unit that's super low on health that would just be sat there, you know, for hours not getting hit. It just immediately goes, oh yeah, I've been here, I'm dead. It's, it's just great. Oh, grudge throwers I was hovering over. They had a lot of kills. That's no fun. But yeah, we did good. Decisive victory. So he's basically been wiped out. Um, he'll probably get chased down by our allies this turn. If I dominate the captives, I will get I will get replenishment out of that. So let's do it. Hi there. Hi there, Chaos. It's great that you could pop in. Ugh. So anyway, Chaos. Chaos are here. Um, <laughs> can I just say, this is actually where I gave up um, on recording for a few days. It was I was in the middle of this episode and Chaos showed up, but I was just like, yeah, I can't. I just, I'm just so, I'm so done. I cannot be dealing with this. There's like another thing to have to fuss with. Ugh. So I just quit. I realised I'm just in. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Just gotta, gotta give yourself a break sometimes. But now I am actually in the mood for it, you know? I'm mentally prepared to deal with chaos, as well as all the problems we've caused for ourselves by doing everything we've been doing this campaign. You know what we've been doing this campaign. So, the rise of chaos. Dire tidings from the north. The tendrils of chaos writhe and reach out from the accursed wastes, tainting the land and sowing dissent. Their corrupt forces wax ever stronger, and now their agents are abroad, spreading the foul corruption of their malign gods. On the heels come bands of marauding warriors led by the most zealous of the chaos lords, eager to wreak destruction in the name of the ruinous powers, and all the while... Ever more warriors flock to some focal point in the Chaos Wastes, a nexus of power which transcends their petty rivalries and impels them to join with the numberless horde. Doom approaches, and it is only in strength that any hope may be found. So that should be a giggle. Uh, they're going to wipe out a lot, but hey, we have we have a, a bigger garrison being built, so, you know, it's all good. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Except all the things. Uh, so, do I want to upgrade any of these buildings? I feel like Mordheim and uh, and Essen do deserve to get a, be like a better garrison on them because I keep I keep trying and then it gets taken. But I think now we finally have enough of a buffer that we might be able to upgrade these. Um, but now we might have enough of a buffer that upgrading them is irrelevant because. Um, Nothing's ever going to reach them anyway. They Who knows? Serve. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I feel like I owe them some protection, uh, given everything that's been going on. Uh, Arcane Conduit. Let's do that. Cool. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this in an episode. I was uh, I was chatting to someone in the comments um, many, many episodes back about Essen. Um, so Essen means food, which sounds like a very on-the-nose, silly, classic Games Workshop thing, right? Um... It's just like, oh, I just pick a German word, right? But uh, reading up in uh, Sigmar's Heirs, which is a Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 2nd edition book, Essen, uh, its main source of income is agriculture. So that's where food comes from, <laughs> right? So actually there is precedent for, for places to be called Essen, and it makes sense that a, a place that supplies a lot of food, you could call the town food, right? Um, that's that's just a, a pretty common thing for places to be called the thing that they are known for. But Essen also has a secondary uh, meaning in classic Games Workshop fashion. It's kind of on the nose, but also beautifully eloquent. Um, it's right next to Sylvania. And Essen, apparently, is in such a terrible state of governance that vampires just sort of turn up, munch on the citizens, and then go home. They just pop in for lunch, basically. Like that little farmstead from the previous battle. They just walk into Essen. So not only does the place supply food to the Empire, so it makes sense that the em well, or you know, maybe not the whole of the Empire, but certainly to its province, um, not only does it supply food to them, so it makes sense that the town would be called that, but also it is a, the, the people themselves are food. So the vampire counts would call the town food because this is nothing but a pantry to them, you know? And I think that's just a beautiful, beautiful thing with Games Workshop. Just whenever something seems on the nose, 
dig a little deeper because it's even more on the nose than you may realize. In this case, it's it's not only on the nose, but on the neck. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. I think that's really great. So, Vlad von Karstein. Also, sorry if I have mentioned that in a previous episode and just completely blanked it. That is also a possibility. But, you know, I did just tell you how burnt out I've been. So, uh, you know, processing all this is uh, a challenge. <laughs> so anyway, let's get you leveled up, shall we? Right, let's have a look. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll work towards Dark Benediction, because might as well. Everything dies. Everything dies. So go for Dark Benediction while you can. Why not? Mortals, am I right? Yes or no? Absolutely. So Emperor Karl Franz is nearby, and he has suffered some attrition, and he has suffered from being in Flensburg. Uh, but ideally, I do want to ambush him, and I'm just not sure if that's going to be possible. If we get an ambush, that would be great. Because I think that might be the only way we handle this, honestly. The amount of cavalry he has... Um, I mean, we can. We can do it the old-fashioned way of having our entire army wiped out and then Vlad just kills everything on his own um, at the end. Do not take me for a fool. I, know, I would quite like to kill him. That would be nice. Alright, so what I can do. So, 70% chance to ambush isn't the best. But, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to go here. Ambush. And I'm going to go here. Ooh, 90% chance to ambush. You're good at that, Vlad. You're good at that. And then we're going to ambush. Uh, so obviously I could just have her march, dance, and Vlad attack. So I have the two armies? I mean, these these would deal with the riots guard pretty well, actually. Absolutely not. Oh, oh, okay. I guess not. Uh, no, we're going to try and ambush him. I want to... I want to, I want to be sneaky. All right, I want I want Vlad to be less direct. I want him to be using uh, dishonorable tactics because he's only pretending to be an honorable person. But we know what he's really like, so let's let's have him be like he is. That sentence makes sense. I swear. <laughs> okay, come here, you. Come here, Albert. Albert Frolichman. That's your real name. So that, that'll earn us a little extra cash, which is nice. Uh, yep, perfect. Full replenishment. Brilliant. Uh, Middenstag, we can't really upgrade with anything. It'll just get destroyed, but we have it, and it's earning a bit of cash for us. And we don't have to be precious about it, you know? If, if we lose it, we lose it. That's fine. Uh, I would like to get a corpse pile here, but we can't afford it. So I didn't get that much more money. Could get more money if we killed Carl Franz, but now nah, we'll wait. We'll wait. What he might do is actually just occupy Flensburg, and then we can just attack him. You know, we can just have everyone jump in and attack Flensburg with him in it. We won't be able to escape then. So I think that would be good. And then from there, we can obviously push off into various uh, other directions. It looks like Ubersreich and Eilhart are under attack. Who are you at war with, mate? Everybody. The Reichland is at war with everybody. But more importantly, I don't know, how are a thousand moors doing? Do you think it might be them? Because right on the border there, a couple of places. Who do you think is besieging them? I'd love to know. Uh, they only have 11 settlements left. So that is going down. Let's see. 1,000 moors. We haven't met them yet, have we? So I don't think this is going to work. I mean, it could be some of the Norskins, but I doubt it. I doubt the Norskins have got in here. Crooked Moon only have the one settlement still, so it's not them. The Red Eye wow. tribe or the other side of the world. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who it could be. I don't know who it could be attacking them over here. I really want to know. Because they've destroyed Helmgard already. Could be could be could it be Beastman? I don't think it could be Beastman. I don't think Beastman exists here. Yeah, I'd love to know. I'd love to know who's over there. Because they're my allies right now. Sort of. Alright, well, damage building in Flensburg. I'm gonna ignore that for now because they might take it over. Hate to spend money on a place that's about to get occupied, you know? Ah, good, he got ambushed. So, uh, this is going to be an absolute doddle. We even have, uh, we have Peter Dog Burglar here as well, just in case Carl has any dogs. Uh, he's not gonna. He's not gonna. They're gonna get burgled. Um, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll fight this then. 
I mean, it would be better to have these two armies lined up separately. Uh, generally, I think it would be better to have combined arms against this sort of army. There's a solid front line against all of his silly rights guard, and obviously we've got so many um, vampires that could just fly in and take on the sort of artillery pieces. But uh, yeah, I think an ambush is more fun, so we're going to do that. Okay, so once again we're lying at ambush nowhere near the enemy, as is tradition. Uh, so you lot, I think you want away from the enemy cavalry. Although what has me a little concerned is all of the cavalry on this side. I don't know how I'm going to get on top of their artillery pieces. And the tanks are going to help out the Luminarchs and everything. But I do need to keep them busy. You know? I do need to keep them very, very busy. But of course, I do have a lot of doggos and other nonsense. So let's see. I don't want to be hand... Mm. Yeah, I really don't know, actually. I don't know what the best setup for this is. Let's get you guys over here. And I am gonna, I am gonna have all my units on this side. I think I'll deal with all these guys and then all of these guys. I think that's the way we're doing it. And yeah, the dogs are short. So they got on the other side. Good. Okay. So little concerned about this back line. Little concerned about that. Oh, I still have some of them. you know what? You can you can go here too. You can back them up. So let's lock them. Oh, and you, apparently. Let's lock you guys. And lock you guys. And this bunch, I guess, can shoot whatever they like. It really it really Ooh, or does it? Actually. I think I'll aim for those handgunners. So charge everyone in. You guys go for the hand gunners. And we are going to get onto all these tanks. So the tanks do actually have very low um, uh, melee defense. So if we have some heavy hitters on them, they should go down fairly quickly. Come on. There we go. Now let's bring in the rest of our units. And ah, some of their cavalry has escaped. Which is certainly a problem. Carl Franz is in here. As is his want. Uh, <laughs> let's shoot these guys now. And yeah, voice engine's doing alright. Doing alright. Alright, let's get our ogres over here. We have many of them. Alright, come on guys. Let's slow you down. And let's ruin the Emperor's day. We are immortal. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys are on it. I'd love to see it. Alright, you pull back a bit. So yeah, steam tanks, come on. Eleven melee defense. Okay. You should be getting absolutely slaughtered right now. Instead, you're pushing your <laughs> your soon-to-be emperor about, which is very upsetting, okay? I do not appreciate that. Okay, hit him with some of those. Okay, this all works rather well for me. Yep, perfect. Guys, double back. I start shooting these steam tanks because they've been very stubborn. All right, maybe you guys should go for Carl Franz. There are many of you, and. Oh, do I want to do that? I do. It's a bad idea, though. That is genuinely a bad idea. I've got so many units in here that I don't want murdered. But how can I not, you know? How can I not? It's actually worked out pretty well for us. It hasn't hit many of our skeletons. I don't think Carl's having a good day in there. Their steam tanks are unbreakable, so this will take some doing. It will take some time. But let's bog them down in zombies, because I can the arches are all going to help tremendously, I'm sure. Everything else has shattered, hasn't it? I think so. And, uh... Carl Franz is in here, doing his thing. Let's bog him down. If we can. Ah, uh, no, it didn't quite work. 
It's fine. He'll probably escape, but that's okay. Okay. Now let's deal with you, yeah? Let's uh, lower your ability to defend yourself even more. Zero melee defense. Is that going to do it? You guys just aren't hitting him. It's very depressing. Let's use all the abilities, I suppose. And Carl died again. Classic Carl. Uh, what else could I do? I suppose I could do some healing, huh? No, oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not a whole lot of that. I guess we can just uh, dominate the captives and get a bunch of replenishment. Decisive victory. Good day for it, too. Lovely day for it. Alright, so if I dominate the captives, 3%, really. Pathetic. No point. No point doing that. Let's uh, return them. You can have them back, Carl. But I want money for him. Now, remember how benevolent I've been. Okay. Ambush foiled. That really didn't matter much. I guess I guess she got spotted. Carl Franz thought, oh, I could take her. And then Vlad was just like, Haha, hi. <laughs> Keep away from my wife. Um, so that worked out great. Ambush defense chance. Is that necessary? The AI aren't very good at ambushing. I, I could count on, like, one hand how many times I've been ambushed in this game. Um, let's have a look. Withering. Earthing. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Something. Ah, let's go withering. Earthing's great and everything, but it's just not very fun, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, we do want Arcane Conduit with uh, Christiana von Karlsbruck. So let's get Pit of Shades. It's the most flashy. All shall and for Vlad. Vladimir von Karstein, let's get you. Uh, I guess quick blood. Yeah, 96 melee attack? With sundering attacks? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Red Fury would be nice, though, so we could buff some people. I mean, even just Bloodlust would be good, so we could buff some people. But yeah, definitely want to work our way down here. Although, it doesn't look like we'll ever get Red Fury because we only have four levels left. So I guess never mind. <laughs> It's a bit of a shame we didn't get Lightning Strike either. Lightning Strike would be jolly handy right now. Um, against Chaos, you know. We could take them on one at a time. But that's the coward's way out. So, let's have a look. Flensburg. Uh, oh, Owen is still here, so let's go finish you off. So we are getting uh, replenishment in this area, which is lovely. So there goes Owen. Bye-bye, Owen. Excellent. Big fan. Uh, and now we can head towards Kemperbad, which might get taken by Gunther. Here. Gunther may take it. I'll have to wait and see. We actually have a lot of money all of a sudden. Which is weird. I don't think we've ever had a lot of money. Feels very alien to me. Um, okay, let's level up some of this stuff. I think. So, get some cash out of that. Uh, get some more cash out of that? Sort of, a little bit, not a lot, but some. It'll take a while to pay for itself. Probably better off just building a gibbet. It's a lot cheaper. Um, Mordheim and Essen can be upgraded. Let's, uh, let's upgrade food. And of course, we do actually have the Wretched Farmstead, which is, you know, a... a Reference basically to the to the law that was built in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay Second Edition. They do use a lot of the RPG supplements to flesh out a lot of the towns and things because a lot of the towns and stuff they're just not mentioned in the army books because there's not been a battle there, you know. So there's no point mentioning it. But uh, yeah, a lot of the towns in the world, a lot of that world building is done in the RPG supplements, which I always like to point out. I always like to point out to people. Because a lot of the time, I'll mention the RPG supplements, and then people go, Oh, but that's not canon. It's like, what are you talking about? It's all Warhammer. Don't be weird. So, uh, let's go to Fort Sol. Actually, Fort Sol is the one I want to go to last. We need to go to Festus Spike. Don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, and hello, Gavin. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Is it two? It is two. Good. We can destroy... Fester Spike. We'll raise that to the ground, and then we'll come back to Fort Sol and uh, vassalize. 
Gelt in Fort Sol. So it'll be very unlikely that they'll be destroyed just because they have a great garrison. It's actually going to be a nightmare to take over for us, but that's irrelevant. Um, it should be able to defend itself, so we should be able to maintain that vassal for a long time, and Gelt can just sit in his fort, not doing governance and things, because that's not what Gelt does. But, supposedly, having good access to a lot of the dwarfen mines in the mountains for lots of precious metal that he can use in his experiments. And uh, we can teach him a bit of necromancy, huh? You know, maybe promise him some power in order to fight chaos, because they have arrived, you know? And uh, there is precedent for, for Gelt going above and beyond what is um, what is considered uh, virtuous. So, yeah. Let's go get Brass Keep. I'm going to go get Brass Keep. I think, I think it's a good idea to get this. We'll get that. That way we can get a uh, Monopoly. Cool. Okay, Lord not moved. Yeah, Isabella needs to move somewhere. And I guess so does Vlad, really. Uh, and Flensburg I should probably repair at some point. I feel a bit bad for leaving that in a horrible state, but also, I kind of don't care. It's kind of fine. So yeah, let's just stay nearby. Uh, I don't know if we want Kemperbad. I feel like we don't need it, so tell you what. You take over Kemperbad, and I'm going to stand next to it, okay? Or not, because apparently I can't stand... Th there we go. Okay, so you take it over, and Isabella will be here to help. Don't worry about it. Good. Okay, I think that's all we need to do. So damage building, nothing we can do about it, mate. Don't know why you're, why you're fussing. Oh, and we can... Wow, okay. Brilliant, we can do the next Larmian one. Vigor loss reduction. That's actually really good at these prolonged fights we have, where we're just relying on, like, the Mortis engine to do things. Uh, also, there's a spider on my keyboard, so I need to set fire to my house. Um, oh, okay, he's left the keyboard. Okay, the fire can wait. Let's let's get this upgraded. Good. Yeah, you better run. He now appears to be... I'm assuming, he, I'm assuming he's humping. He looks like he's humping. He looks like he's humping my PlayStation controller. I don't know why he's doing that. But all right, anyway, enough about um, spider love. Uh, let's crack on. Uh, so, speak of spider love, um, the green skins in Age of Sigmar, there's like spider versions that I think worship Zinch, I think? Which is weird and mutated, if I read that correctly. I think, I think they're chaos ones, which I think is annoying because it should just be they worship the spider god, so they've manifested. Uh, things pertaining to that, but apparently they're, they're Zinch worshippers, which I find a bit weird. But, oh well. Um, it's an interesting concept, but hey, just got reminded of that Warhammer in it. So, let's crack on. Okay, Gavin is just ignoring us. <laughs> He's going the long way around to get to the Fort Sol. I mean, him getting there is, is a big deal for him. Skarsnik's here. Hi, Skarsnik. What are you doing here, buddy? He's probably going to declare war on us, because, you know, it's very fashionable to declare war on us. Now, Warriors of Chaos, they do have agents running around. We should be able to assassinate a bunch of those. Because we do have a bunch of assassins running around. So we will think about it. If we see any in range, I'll try and, uh, try and whittle them down a bit. So Kemperbad is indeed under attack. We have uh, given it the support it needed. So we can just sort of resolve that. No worries. Uh, dominating captives seems pointless. We'll return them so we can get a bit of cash. And there we go. Our vassal is now a little bit stronger. So the borders have definitely shifted a bit. Is the thing. Like, Stirland is now a little bit further north than it should be, you know. It has the, the southern... Um, sort of uh, regions of, of Talapheim, which I think is rather interesting. But, oh well, let's take Bravast Keep before I spend all my money. Just want to make sure I get this out of the way. Good. So, the orcs are coming. Not the sophisticated bunch that hangs on in the captured dwarf holds, but the more rural boys that wander the southern badlands. Yes, a nomadic horde of extra fighty savage orcs are close and could threaten your forces. Best to be proactive against this lot before Morg or Gork leads them right into your realm. Well, they're in my realm right now. Well, they're in my vassal's realm. Which I consider part of my realm, as I am their rightful emperor. But, you know. Um, also, we've secured Hockland now. Yippee. 
And we also did some uh, some more technology, the incantations of Asharan. Asharan was the first ghoul king. His spirit could be invoked with the right words, and his children summoned. So uh, Asharan was the one who had the uh, Strigoi em uh, Empire, which was, uh, well, it's down here, actually. It's on the map. We can't see it very well. Where is it? It's this bit, I think? Have I positioned that right? It's the weird slimy bit that's around here somewhere. It's all swamps. Um, that was that used to be an empire. It's one of the first human empires. Uh, he was the ruler of it. And then it got destroyed. And then none of the other vampires took in the vampires from the Strigoi. Um, you know, empire, when they fled. When they eventually fled after a, a war. Wiped out the entire civilization. And so they ended up having to just sort of... Um, just, uh, like live in sewers and just eat flesh and rats and corpses and just not do the whole vampire thing very well which is why they're all disgusting gross um ghoulish things now so yeah also there's um there's a sort of a uh, uh nomadic people uh based on the uh like romany peoples uh the strigony people that were the people that were able to escape there and again, they have been housed by mortals, so both mortals and vampires both kind of have a similarly unwelcoming stance to those people. But the Strigony uh, peoples are seen as like a sign of vampires, because people remember, you know, the, the sort of the Strigoi, um, you know, nation. So they, they know it's associated with, with vampires, and so they, they see them as sort of a cursed people. Darkness. So they don't much like them hanging about. So I think it's kind of cool. It's nice that there's that sort of historical, you know, thing with these new cultures being embedded in the world. It's, it's lovely world building. So uh, Goat Trek is over here. Finally, finally picked a picked a side that isn't <laughs> working for me, which I think is uh, interesting. He's finally realised. Finally realised. And uh, Snorri Drakebeard is looking very very healthy right now, which I am not pleased about. Uh, Skarsnik, who are you at war with? Are you walking around to deal with him? I, I really don't know who he's at war with. Who are you at war with? Uh, Torgavan, uh, Karagnorn, Chaos, Clan Angrand, and Argulon. I think maybe he's headed for Clan Angrand through here? Perhaps? We might have to get used to him trespassing from time to time. Uh, Dottenbach, I am going to invest in some infrastructure there, and Brass Keep, let's get that going. They will be right as rain pretty shortly, I'd wager. And looks like Helmut Fowerback is going to be able to do something over here. He's got quite a big army, but it's absolute trash, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. This guy's being a bit of a pain. Hopefully someone will get rid of him. Looks like Chaos are making it quite far already, but that could have just been... That could have just been uh, Clan Mulder burning a house down. Or well, it could even be Clan Mulder's house being burnt down by these guys. I think that's under siege. So yeah, I think that's Skaven territory. You at war with Skaven? Oh, he's at war with everybody. Presence. That was our fault, I think. It's because we vassalized him. And I think he kept all of his wars. <laughs> Poor right. guy. Dark days so yeah, no one will trade yet. It's the very low reliability. It just, it completely, Sigma's will. completely Dark hamstrings us. Indeed. It's a real pity. A real pity. Alright, well, guys, we're going to end the episode here. This is where we're going to end it, and there's nothing you can do about it. I have the power. Mwahaha. <laughs> ha, -ha. ha ha First, though, let's run off over here. Good boy. And uh, I guess you can run off over here, too, huh? Maybe I should attack Grunberg now. Should I take Grunberg? Should we start attacking the Reichland? I would like to take over some more of the northern climbs, but I have a feeling that Chaos is going to wipe them all out soon. So it might be worth um, dealing with this. Still leave Alt Dwarf until last, I'd wager, but um, might be worth getting a. Ooh, what is it? King I don't Darkness. know. I think having some territory here that we can just camp with one army just means that we can fight off any invasion. You know, they'll be determined to try and take Grunberg from us. So it means we could have maybe Vlad take Grunberg, Isabella is sent off to try and deal with all this nonsense and uh, then we can take Altdorf from either side of the river because Altdorf does actually have the river go through it, it looks like it's just on the like southern um, 
you know, sure of the of the Reich, but it's not. The the Reich goes straight through it. It it's yeah. The city straddles the river on both sides. So um anyway, we can attack it from both sides. That could be fun. Yeah, we'll attack Gra Grandberg next turn with, with Vlad. Uh, Isabella, you're going to start heading north. I'm going to have you double time it, because I want you to get there soon. And with her running off into the distance, this is where we're going to end the episode. Brilliant. So there was something you could do about it. You could just let me waffle, and then the episode goes on longer. That's it's the perfect defense. It's almost a guarantee. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, it's good to be back, guys. Have a good one. Take care.